Hello everyone, Ori here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video and today I got the player review of Raul Gonzalez, the 88 version uh, of him. I mean, a fantastic player, very very elegant, I absolutely love him. Before continuing, uh, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it will really help me to grow my channel. So, uh, I bought him for like a 420k, uh, we're looking here at a 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill most player, uh, high medium, um, that means that he's gonna uh, make the round for the through balls and at the same time drop down a bit to, to search for that pass uh, and he can play as a, as a false 9. Uh, his pace is okay, his shooting is fantastic, his passing is 78 but very very underrated, his passing feels much better in game, dribbling is fantastic and physical is okay too because uh, I like he has a uh, high stamina, that 85 stamina gonna make him go for the full 90 minutes or, or uh, even uh, more. So in general we are looking uh, on a very okay player, I'm gonna use him uh, with a hunter camp style which means that gonna boost uh, his uh, shooting and uh, pace uh, stats. I mean uh, in game uh, I'm gonna try uh, him first at the 4 2 3 one as a long striker and you will see absolutely uh, if he can make uh, if he can be that long striker forward or not and then I'm gonna try him in a 4 one 2 one 2 and we're gonna see and I'm gonna tell you uh, which formation he feels better and uh, how to properly how to properly uh, use uh, him. Raul Gonzalez uh, in general uh, it's an okay player uh, what I don't like about him is that he is a player which uh, cannot beautiful assist there and Dembele are gonna score it's a player uh, which cannot hold by its own uh, in that uh, long striker position uh, because he, he will get caught his pace is not the best and uh, his physical too so he he just had to finish there that's a that's a hell for him but uh, he's uh, as I was saying he will get caught uh, because his physique uh, as you can see there I'm trying to make runs for him, with him but uh, he's just uh, gonna get caught uh, to to use to use him properly uh, you just uh, don't uh, you should not keep the ball too much with him you just have to uh, take the ball with him make uh, quick passes and because beautiful finish finish there because after he make that pass uh, he's gonna immediately immediately search uh, search for that ball after the pass he's gonna make that that beautiful round I mean that for me it's unique to him the way that uh, he mo uh, he moves in game is uh, it's fantastic you cannot uh, rely on him to make it as you can see there he's gonna get caught in triplings and if you make the rounds like he's not like hazard or like mana who just gonna make the round and hold on their own he's not gonna do that he's gonna get caught and that is what that is what uh, I don't like about him but in a 4-2-3-1 uh, I don't like him as a as a lone striker but if you play him as a camp uh, things gonna change because he's gonna be involved more with passes and the beautiful moves and he's gonna finish uh, more chances for you so do not play him as a lone striker because he will not get you out of the situation but if you play him in a 4-1-2-1-2 at the striker position he's gonna be deadly as you saw there a beautiful beautiful finesse shot from him and uh, I'm gonna take the W here I don't know why he decided uh, too quick uh, this early uh, but as I was saying play him in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow or at a 4-4-2 uh, uh, formation he just need the formation uh, with a two striker formation because uh, with another with another striker near to him uh, he's gonna make beautiful uh, quick one twos and uh, as I was saying after he make that pass uh, he's gonna make beautiful rounds and uh, which gonna help you create spaces and create chances and uh, he's gonna finish most of the chances uh, that he's got uh, because his left foot is very deadly and uh, very beautiful very very, very beautiful to, to watch I mean uh, he's gonna get involved a lot uh, as especially as I'm saying you in a 4-1-2 just look at their quick 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 passes and he's gonna 
he had to finish there he had to finish there but uh, he did uh, he did uh, pretty well if you can see here he's making the run you can see the beautiful quick quick one too he just needs another player to to make the cross there should have gone in but unlucky he needs the other players uh, to make the quick passes and uh, get to his uh, full potential because uh, he's a player that uh, can make damage if used properly and to use him properly you have to use him as a cam or in a two striker formation beautiful finesse shot by the way there i mean uh, in general in general if you ask me a fantastic player but to spend the tank tokens on, on him uh, it's up to you it's up to you because if you have uh, if you have done like uh, different uh, Spanish players SBC or different objectives uh, he's gonna link perfectly to them I mean he's an icon and gonna link to everybody but especially gonna give you that extra boost uh, to, to Spanish players so if you have them I would recommend to absolutely do him play him like a two striker formation uh, with uh, David Villa SBC forward or with uh, Andres Iniesta as a cam behind him and uh, he's gonna feel he's gonna feel amazing but if you if you don't have other players and uh, other fantastic players which you can rely on uh, and you wanna get him and to score all the goals for you and get you out out of uh, every situation I personally think he can do it I personally think he can be your best player on the team so he he can be that that a great uh, added value and uh, which which can which can help your team improve a lot and uh, and score and get and get your wins uh, so uh, in general I think that uh, I said it all uh, it's up to you guys now to decide exactly if you want to get him uh, if you want to get him or not uh, so uh, it's been Ori here uh, thank you all for watching uh, leave any comment down below about what you think and I see you in another uh, FIFA 20 video bye